Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Yet another day and yet another problem for the Congress party. It seems that Pakistan's human rights minister Shireen Mazari has purportedly written a letter to the United Nations saying that the situation in, in Kashmir is detrimental and she has used the visit of former Congress president Rahul Gandhi as an example to show her point. However, Rahul Gandhi countered the supposed letter this morning by putting out a tweet that unequivocally stated that Pakistan has backed some operations in Kashmir which have led to violence. Most people, especially his critics, feel that this is too little and too late. But the bigger story here and the bigger challenge for the Congress party is the fact that yet again it finds itself backed into a corner on a key decision it took. Whether it was the abrogation of Article 370, where Congress initially went with the position that the article should not have been abrogated at all, to the position that the way it was done was unconstitutional, or you talk about other cases where the Congress has put forth a stand and then backed out on it, a similar situation seems to be playing out when it comes to Kashmir. Rahul Gandhi has been trying to corner the Modi government on how the situation in Kashmir is not normal. As a matter of fact, he, along with the delegation of opposition leaders, attempted to visit Srinagar over the weekend, but they were not allowed to set foot outside the airport. It is this very case that Pakistan has used to illustrate its point that things in Kashmir are not going as well as the Indian government seems to say. But for the Congress, all it does is create another situation where the party has to retract on its original stand. Congress has in turn slammed the Pakistan government for its mischievous use of the visit of Rahul Gandhi and other delegation leaders in order to illustrate its point with the United Nations. They say that Pakistan's act of violence in the area are unpardonable and that Pakistan should reflect on itself and not do politics like this. For The Print, this is Deeksha Bhardwaj. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel.